Hi guys, it's Marlene here. Welcome to my YouTube channel. For today, I am going to make this little card I have lying here. Um, I'm making this as my design team make for this week's inspiration for Be Crafty. Uh, you can find all the palm stamps and a lot of other goodies on BeCrafty.net. Um, this little card I've had here is one layer stamping. That is all it is. There is literally nothing more to it than a bit of stamping and colouring. And that's all I've done here. I've used a new ivory stamp from the botanicals uh, selection and I've used one of the artboard stamps. And, and that's pretty much it. So what we're going to do is you need a card blank. I have cut mine to 105 centimetres by 145 centimetres. So I think it's C6, isn't it? Standard C6 it's called. And what we're going to start doing is going to take the art border stamp. Now these stamps are quite long. Um, I think it measured 19 centimetres, I think I measured it to. And I have I managed to find an old 6x6 six six block um, that I can put it on um, from corner to corner like this here. And that's the only way I can do it. I do recommend that if you are buying these stamps in the same with the flower stamps that we're going to be using, May I suggest to invest in the slim that the Bee Crafty girls have that matches these stamps because it's a bit bulky to sit with a big block for this stamp. Um, I simply just haven't gotten around to getting my hands on the slims just yet. So I do suggest that you you check that out. Um, now on this card I've already made here, I've done black and I thought I was going to try a blue combination this time simply just to see how it works I've not tried it before and I just have a sharpie to color in the, the edges and I'm using a cobalt uh, blue um, archival ink pad that's all so what we're going to do is just going to ink up our stamp there we go and then just line the edge of my stamp up with the edge of the card. There we go. And I'm going to do this the whole way around. And I'm overlaying it over here in the corners, but it doesn't matter because once you colour them in in a minute with Sharpie, that's going to cover up the double stamping. And look, I have an edge there as well, but it doesn't matter because I'll just be colouring that in as well. And I'm going to do this on all four sides. It. that's my stamping done of the border right now in order to get the flower in turn my card the right way around as you can see my flower does not actually go into the border here it's actually sitting behind the border so in order to stamp my flower I need to mask off my bottom border so what I've done is I've taken a couple of post-it notes and I've just stuck them next to each other and I've stamped down my border stamp on it and created a little mask, just cut it out. That's all that is, post-it notes. So I'm going to stick that on down here on top of my stamping. You see that, so it'll cover that. And then I'm going to take my flower, just stick that onto my block here. I have the same problem here with my... Um, acrylic block is not big enough so I have to use this big 6x6 six six. and then I simply just stamp straight over the mask that's it I'm gonna put a bit of pressure on and lift now as you can see here by stamping my flower I've stamped the flower on top of, of the border down below. So when I take off the mask, see how nice and clean it is? Because all the stamping is done on top of the mask. Now, because this is the sticky bit of a posted note, I'll just save this for next time. And I simply just keep it next to my stamp 
on my packaging that came with my stamp um, and I leave it there and I have it and it, it, it's so far I've done three or four cards with it maybe it might last me another three or four cards but it's very inexpensive quick and easy to make so I can just throw it out and make a new one if it doesn't work anymore so there's my card basically now it's just a matter of using my sharpie to color in a little bit let's put a piece of paper underneath here and then I'll simply just cover up these edges that I didn't quite get done right. And now it doesn't even take that long to sit and do this. Very therapeutic to sit and color in. But I want to show you how long it actually takes to make these cards. And if you have a good stamp, a bit of ink, and away you go. And you can make so many combinations of class cards. And it doesn't even have to cost you a fortune to do. And that's what I love about stamping. Absolutely love about stamping. You have the tools. All you need is cardstock, ink pad, and your stamps, and away you go. And a few colours. And we can all start with whatever you get in your pound shops or toy shops or where stationery shop, wherever you get your colouring from. That's what I use. All the big fancy stuff that comes later on. Yeah, see, it's quite quick and easy just to follow the bits in the stamp here, the little bubbles. I'm not even being that precise with it. And I do kind of think that the vintage look of the flower, I think that look quite class next to the modern border. It makes it very funky, I think. And a great way to mix and match whatever materials you have. Again, making it very inexpensive to make a quick little card. Now you could stamp a greeting onto this card here as well if you wanted to, of course. Um, I just, I'm, I'm in need of a few cards in my stash that doesn't have any greetings on that I can use for any occasion, anyone. Just, you know, it's always nice to have a few cards like that line. So that's why I'm at the moment making a few cards that does not have any greetings on them. So we're nearly there. And I do kind of think that the flower stamps, they're so lovely. And they can hold their own so easily, which is why a card so simple like this here really, really can hold its own. You don't need very much, no embellishments or any of, of those things. Yeah, there we go. And that is it. Look how quick and simple that was, yet very effective. And there's a black version and a blue version for you there. So a very, very quick and easy way to stretch your supplies um, and actually use hardly anything at all to make a little quick card. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. And remember, you can find all the stamps on becrafty.net along with the uh, huge selection of other stamps. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.